So last week, Apple released the developer copy 10.10.3 of OS X Yosemite. And the fantastic part about this is actually they bundled the Photos app into this update. And this isn't going to be released to consumers until spring 2015, because uh, I guess they're working out kinks. Um, but I was able to get my hands on it. This is supposed to be a replacement for iPhoto and for Aperture and with that you get a streamlined user interface a much easier way to just edit your photos on the fly and it's all linked up through iCloud with your your iPad your iPhone your iPod touch and any other Macs that may be signed into the same iCloud account so this is just a quick overview of it and I hope you guys enjoy all right so we're gonna start just by clicking on the photos app and the icon is familiar to anyone who has an iOS device Basically, when we get started, this is just going to be preparing the library, converting everything over from your iPhoto library, all your photos, albums, events, faces, etc., as we'll see in the video. As you can see, really uh, smooth scrolling, and even though uh, it's maybe a larger library, you'll still see that huge performance update. And we're going to go into some pinching and zooming and this is in relation to your actual library so you start out with a photo you can pinch out uh, go to your camera roll then go to events pinch out all the way and go up to years and in the year view you can actually click and drag and pan through all your photos even from this view to find that one photo that you're actually looking for which is pretty fantastic and the photo albums feature uh, as well as faces is all carried over. You can find your panorama, slow-mo videos, videos, uh, faces, etc. all in this area. So editing photos in the Photos app is just as simple and easy and powerful as it is on the iOS device. One-click enhance, auto-cropping that automatically straightens your photo so you don't need to eyeball it anymore. All the great filters that we know and love from iOS are carried over here. Uh, and the computer does everything for you. Uh, color balance, uh, auto contrast, all that kind of stuff right through the one click enhance. A great little noir Japanese photo that I have here. And you can also always revert back to the original one just like you can on iOS. And the share menu is more easily recognizable just in the top right. So obviously you can share it to the normal uh, iCloud sharing, mail, messages, Facebook, etc. And set to desktop is right here so you can put your photo front and center right on your desktop. And I have an 11 inch MacBook Air, so I love this new streamlined interface across the top. But if you like the sidebar, you simply go up to view, show sidebar. This is just like an iPhoto. It has all your shared albums, your connected devices, all the albums that are on your computer. So you're able to cycle through those as you wish. Uh, and this is better for larger displays. And when you click on the shared tab on the top, you'll get a similar view just like you get on your iOS device. So this is all your photos and videos that uh, play right off of iCloud that you've shared with all your friends, which is actually a really great touch and it really makes the transition easy between iOS and Mac. And in the top right, you'll see the slideshow button and you can see that there are these different templates that are there right now. They may add more. Uh, but actually, my new favorite is Magazine, and if you use it in your Panoramas folder, it actually plays through with the music and actually pans through each one of your Panoramas. So it's actually a new, interesting take on the slideshow. And second to last, I did just want to show you what the import button looks like on the simplified menu. When you click on it, it'll obviously bring up all the photos that are on the connected device, and you can also select right here to open photos when the device is connected. And have no fear, you're still able to make all your projects, your books, your calendars, your cards, right in photos just like you could in iPhoto. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and thumbs up, and come back to the channel for some of the new videos coming down the pipeline. Thanks again.